Hello everybody, and today we're going to have a look at a patch library for Omnisphere. I've done this type of thing in the past where I take a patch library and give it a little tour and then the week after we, we have a track made just purely from the sounds of that library and we're going to do something um, very similar again. This time with Granular Dreams by Stingray Instruments. I will leave a link to the actual uh, website where we get, can get this uh, wonderful patch library from in the comments below uh, and also in the description. Uh, basically Granular Dreams is a collection of 120 presets uh, with 86 double dipped granular sound sources. Basically we're going to use the granular sound engine to manipulate our uh, samples in there. So. On the website it says the theme of the sound set is uh, rooted in the imag imaginary cinematic sci-fi world full of warm analog synth sounds, distant keyboards, unsettling, um, unsettling percussion and massive unpredictable sound expanses that are only limited by your mind. So these are sort of in the experimental universe, think Philip Glass, Steve Reich, John Carpenter and you won't be going too far wrong. You will need Omnisphere 2.6 to actually do this and use this patch library. And uh, today we're just going to have a look at a few of the sounds. And I'll warn you now before we start, when you start stepping through these um, sounds, they are fantastic for the type of music I do. They give a wonderful drones, backdrops, ambience type nature to the music. There's quite a bit of sound imbalance. There'll be some sounds that will pop out of your speakers like nothing on earth and I almost deafen myself on one or two of them so just be very careful and when I come across one or two I'll show you how to you can match them to what you actually want to do so we'll look at a destructive dream let's start at the very beginning which is a gorgeous reverberated piano with a slight underlying pad So that's touch loud for my liking and uh, I don't have my setup any louder than what you would normally have. So what I've done, or what I would suggest you do, is on this bit where it says gain, just knock it down a few dB. I'll say try zero, let's see what happens with that. Much, yeah, much better. You can hear that reverberation underneath. Um, alien abduction, what's that? A flying saucer friends are overhead. Oh, somebody's in my world. Wonderful. It's not just me that have flying saucers flying around our heads. So quick, get the tinfoil hat. Mod wheel increases the probe intensity. You were the missus. Yeah, let's turn that one down a little bit. You know what that reminds me of. And there's a takedown from the, for the video. Third Cross Encounter of the Third Kind for anybody who's old enough to remember that uh, wonderful movie. Uh, Bamboo Dream. Like the knock on woods in a dreaming state, this patch will make you drift off into dreamland. Well, let's see what if it does. Nice bottom end to this. Yeah, can see what we can do with that. I've got to try beaming up because I'm a, I'm a Star Trek fan at heart. So let's see what this is. A slight pulse as though something magical is about to happen. Oh, that will make a great drone, that. Now, I love how that constantly moves around. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, let's see, depths of the mind. So what's going on here? It's the depth of the mind, that's what. 
Ah, I love this. this. This guy's got a great sense of humour. He's on my wavelength. Yeah, I need to turn that one down a little bit. Uh, let's go to minus two. That's better. There's a slight oscillation of the sound there. Um, let's just have a look what he's done with that. Um, got a granular, obviously, granular engine. And... Yeah, not an awful lot going on, on, on there, but it, there's some some nice sound on there. Discovery. Oops, I need to go back to what it says. An uplifting granular patch full of uplifting discovery and movement. Oh. That's nice. So we've got granular. Just limited to that position there. Uh, if you look at one of the old videos that I did about the, how to use the granular engine, you can actually limit how far along this sample line it, your uh, parameters will move. So the grain depth. So he's so he's got it in very fine, uh, very, very fine grains. So it, yeah, so he, he's not got many grains going. So it's not as heavy on the CPU, which is quite good. See if we can find out what's cause making it do like an arpeggiator. I've got a funny feeling it's gonna be a mod somewhere. No? Oh, I'm not sure what he's got that's causing it to modulate. Um there's no modulations going on. It's not the granular engine that's doing that. Well, that's interesting. Can't seem to find out what it is that's causing it. What's making that arpeggiation? Um, I would have suspected it would be one of the mods, but they're not moving. You can tell if the mods move because that line goes across if you've used a mod. So unless it's just the sample itself that's causing it to do that, and the easiest way to find out if it is that is let's just change the sample. It is. It's just the sample itself that's actually been. Uh, it's, it's created an arpeggiation, and he's looped it. So that's what's probably what's happened with that, and I'm sure the. Um, author of the library will comment below to explain what how that's done but I, I suspect it's actually baked into the sample that rather than anything in the Omnisphere synth engine. So let's just move on to electronic mutiny. Uh, slightly off kilter sound with delay on the mod wheel. interesting sound so to get all that moving he's just using the granular engine really because there's nothing happening in modulation land um, yeah, nothing happening in modulation land at all so yeah very interesting uh, that couple with the uh, mod modulation envelope Motion pad. Let's have a look at motion pad. Ooh, that's going to blast my speakers out. Let's knock that down to minus three. Yeah, that's a little bit 
too much. That's better. Oh, that's nice. It's like I say, what you got to do is just watch your game because that one, if I played that, that would have blasted you to kingdom come. Um, Jupiter Bound. Now this is the opposite. I, I would personal taste would be to turn that up a bit. Yeah, very nice. Uh, let's just go radioactive. Come on, radioactive. There we are. Swirly time, whiny apocalyptic preset. Ooh, yeah, we need to turn that down. Ooh, ah, ah. This is just one note. Middle C is all I'm holding down, and you're getting all that movement. Yeah, really nice. Uh, sonar Koto. It's a Koto type instrument with sonar inflections. that uh, let's see we'll go turmoil so in the lower register a grumpy subtle pad add pangs of turmoil in the higher register hmm yep higher register yeah interesting and finally, we'll just have a look at Winds and Mars, a sweepy pad texture with airlock filter on the mod wheel. So these are probably better layered up. So if I just, just make that channel one and then we can get it and let's see let's have another pad on there come on pad uh... okay. This is really nice in the lower registers. And a subtle bit of Windsor Mars. So there we have uh, Granular Dreams uh, by Stingray Instruments. It's a library that I'm going to quite enjoy exploring. Um, and yeah, I would definitely give this a thumbs up. So if you haven't already done, head on over to Stingray Instruments and uh, have a look at the library. There is uh, some demos on that website that show what this uh, this patch library can do and i hope to add my take on what this patch library can do next week so until then my friends catch you then <laughs>